honest, the real reason Boris left the country is because he's running away from this. The public inquiry into the COVID pandemic has asked to see WhatsApp messages sent by Boris Johnson when he was Prime Minister, along with details of communications by other senior officials. Now, you're not going to believe this, but I've pulled some strings. I've managed to actually get hold of the... It's true. Of the... <laughs> of the real WhatsApp messages Boris sent during COVID. Hey, Chris, Willie, old boy, please click on this link. <laughs> For fuck's sake, Prime Minister, this is serious. Chill out there, guys, and get down to the party. I just want naked Skittles. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> that was definitely real. <laughs> Elsewhere this week, distressing news for the future of humanity. The COP27 climate summit has begun in Egypt with dire warnings about the state of the planet. According to the UN, we need to almost halve emissions by 2030. At the moment, they're still rising. We are on track for warming of almost three degrees centigrade. A catastrophe for humanity. Terrifying. So how long did Rishi Sunak stay at this two-week conference to save the planet? The Prime Minister flew into Egypt for just one day. <laughs> See ya! <laughs> Apparently, he had to get back to about 800 times for Hancock to eat wallaby scrotum. <laughs> what blew my mind, what was this guy doing in Egypt? Wonderful to be here in Sharm, an amazing privilege. I got up early this morning, as I'm sure many of you did, and I, I swam off the coral reefs. No one cares! <laughs> Why was he there? He's not Prime Minister, and he fell asleep at the last one. <laughs> Did you see his speech? Did he reflect the gravity of the situation? No, he spoke utter bollocks. Six billion gigatons we, we're, we're taking out of uh, the atmosphere, which would otherwise be swaddling our planet in a great eiderdown uh, of heat. What are you talking about? <laughs> we're on the brink of catastrophe and he's banging on about duvets. <laughs> Keep it simple, like Crystal Palace footballer Michael Alise. His post-match interview this week was as a as it gets. Just talk us through it. Uh, through what the goal. Mm. Uh, I think Wolf passed me the ball. Shot. Scored. <laughs> nice and brief. But it, it, was a, it was a moment that, that captured the game, that won the game. And what's the feeling like when the ball does hit the back of the net? Yeah, it was a good feeling. <laughs> Do you feel you deserved it overall? Yeah. But don't worry, Boris Johnson is back and he's got a new catchphrase that doesn't make any sense. We need to behave fearlessly but with common sense. <laughs> How can you have common sense and be fearless? <laughs> Come on, Britain, swim with sharks, but make sure they've eaten. <laughs> he's such a joke. Did you see him at the Tory party conference attacking people that don't believe in wind power? I remember how some people used to sneer at wind power 20 years ago and say it wouldn't pull the skin off a rice pudding. <laughs> right? Who would say something like that? Wind farms couldn't pull the skin off a rice pudding, says Boris Johnson. <laughs> He's arguing with himself. <laughs> Surely he must have known that he said that, cos no-one else judges energy through fucking puddings! <laughs> PM, we've got a new wind turbine. Excellent. Can it destroy an apple crumble? <laughs> Can it exterminate a trifle? <laughs> Can it bitch slap a banoffee pie? <laughs> Arguing with something he said. Who else is he going to have a pop at? People who can't use zip wires? <laughs> <laughs> Men that twat Japanese children? <laughs> People who listen to music through their eyes? <laughs> He's such a useless tosser. Oh, and in case you're wondering... <laughs> <laughs> the Brexit trade talks go into extra time as the UK and EU agree to keep talking. Boris Johnson and the European Commission president say both sides are still very far apart. Ah, uh, it's like a turd that won't flush. <laughs> Mind you, I'm not surprised Boris didn't get a deal, given the bollocks he was talking. This was kind of a bit like twins, and 
the UK is one twin, the EU is another, and if the EU decides to have a haircut, then the UK has got to have a haircut. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> I bet the EU will baffle Mr Johnson we need to discuss the fishing quotas. Who wants pigtails? <laughs> What? I do not... I know that face. <laughs> Somebody wants a mohawk. <laughs> haircuts. Boris Johnson is the last man to be lecturing people about hair. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like he's been sprinkled with alpaca pubes and wired to a Van de Graaff generator. <laughs> Does he look like shit? Did you hear about his attempt at charm? As Boris Johnson spotted the EU's chief Brexit negotiator, Michel Barnier, approaching, he attempted to break the ice with a moment of humour. And what was that humour? <laughs> Pointing a finger at him, he declared, you gave me COVID. <laughs> and we wonder why we didn't get a deal. <laughs> you nearly fucking killed me, you bastard! <laughs> Stay away from this froggy wanker, he's absolutely riddled! <laughs> right, let's negotiate. <laughs> Where'd you stand on dreadlocks? <laughs> it's nuts, you know? Business is paralysed, ports are gridlocked. It's even hit the royal family. The Queen delays filming Christmas speech amidst Brexit uncertainty. <laughs> no, I need to... I need to wait, you know? <laughs> I need to make sure he's definitely fucked it before... <laughs> Before I call him a bell end, I don't, I, don't to, I don't want to be on the wrong wave, you know? Isn't that right, Phil? It's a great idea, Liz, yes. <laughs> you want me to stick anything in the micro wave? <laughs> yes, I do, actually, yeah. Prince Andrew's fucking head, yeah. <laughs> again, again in the papers, Andrew, again in the papers. <laughs> so, what is going to happen with Brexit? I'll let Captain Haircut explain. Now, a strong possibility, strong possibility that uh, we will have a, uh, a solution that's much more like an Australian relationship with the EU than a Canadian relationship with the EU. That doesn't mean it's a, a bad thing. Yes, it does. <laughs> like, an Australian deal and no deal are exactly the same thing. All he's done is given it a new name. It's bullshit. If, you're, if your taxi driver drove off a cliff and went, it's all right, mate, it's not a cliff, it's an Australian-style road. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be like, ah, it's fine, then. You can't change the name to make it sound better. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not drink driving officer. I'm mobile wine tasting. <laughs> you go to prison. Not if I call it a hotel. It's ridiculous. Now, if you think an Australian deal is good, listen to what an ex-Aussie PM had to say. You've chosen a very uh, courageous time to leave the largest free trade zone in the world. Which is Australian for, you fucking fuck, mate. <laughs> and he could be right, a no-deal Brexit could cost the economy more than COVID. It could leave us with food shortages. I mean, Christ, yoghurt could become an occasional luxury. Jesus, 2020 was bleak. The height of decadence next year is a fucking Muller fruit corner. <laughs> Eat a little bit at a time, save it. <laughs> this is the maddest. Brexit to send price of dildos and butt plugs soaring. <laughs> I don't remember that on the side of a bus. <laughs> 350 million for a butt plug. <laughs> or as Nigella calls them, butt plug A's. <laughs> Elsewhere, this, but I don't know why I looked to you, that was a bit. In case you want to know where you can get a cheap dildo from. <laughs> Boris Johnson made a huge announcement. The Prime Minister warns we're facing an Omicron emergency as he sets out a bold new plan for boosters. The Prime Minister made the announcement in a televised address after warning that a tidal wave of Omicron is coming. We must urgently reinforce our wall of vaccine protection to keep our friends and loved ones safe. Must we? <laughs> well, you didn't give a shit about anyone's loved ones last Christmas, did you, Boris? <laughs> We obeyed the rules, you and your mates were on the lash. It now appears there were seven parties in and around Westminster last Christmas. Seven parties! <laughs> we were locked down, they had a week-long Mardi Gras. <laughs> I bet by the end of the week, Boris was doing this. <laughs> and yet... His ministers are still denying these parties even happened. 
Um, I don't even know if an event took place, but if it did, that no rules were broken. <laughs> what a load of shit. The event didn't happen, but if it did happen, then it won't have happened how you think it happened. <laughs> Case closed or open. Downing... <laughs> Downing Street advisors were laughing at us. Did you see what they called the party? It's a fictional party. It was a business meeting. <laughs> and it was not socially distanced. It was a business meeting. Really? Because by the end of it, many were rat assed <laughs> They probably left this business meeting like this. <laughs> and it's... They weren't just... Shit face. They did a quiz, and look who hosted it. It's the 15th of December last year inside 10 Downing Street. Boris Johnson is hosting a round of a staff Christmas quiz. Two colleagues are either side of him, one with tinsel wrapped around him. <laughs> Boris was running the quiz. What a piss take. Question one. We're in a national lockdown. Should we A, obey the rules like everybody else, or B, do what the fuck we want. <laughs> We're the Tories. <laughs> fuck those peasants. <laughs> fuck them like the muggles they are. <laughs> and despite being photographed there, he's still denying it even happened. Mr Johnson has repeatedly said there was no party, that no rules were broken. Now he appears to have ordered an investigation to see if what he was saying was true. He's ordered an investigation to see if he was lying. He was there. He was there next to a man covered in tinsel and a woman with either a tiny hat or a massive head. <laughs> and if you think the Tories took the mick, look at the police reaction to these illegal parties. The Metropolitan Police says it will not investigate allegations that staff at Downing Street broke COVID restrictions by holding a Christmas party because of a lack of evidence. <laughs> now, I'm no expert, but surely the point of an investigation... <laughs> ..is to find evidence. <laughs> you know, like a photo. It's like the police have got a dead body on the floor and there's a man in front of them holding a knife, covered in blood, <laughs> with a T-shirt that says, it was me. <laughs> I killed him. And they're like, I don't know, I'm not seeing it. <laughs> Boris Johnson's all over the place. I mean, take the new COVID rules. On the one hand, he's saying this. We will reintroduce the guidance to work from home. Then, seconds later, he's saying this. We think that it's, it's OK, uh, currently, on what we can see, uh, to, to, to keep going with, uh, with Christmas parties. So, <laughs> apparently, this is a Covid hotspot. <laughs> but this is absolutely fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, if Boris is suggesting that alcohol makes people in this country more responsible... <laughs> I refer you to this headline, Drunk Fault Invisible Man. <laughs> and in case you're not convinced, never forget that a 25-year-old man in relatively high spirits on a night out in Barnstable, Devon, tried to make love to an ambulance. <laughs> so, will people follow the new rules? Yes, they will. In possibly the most British way ever. Over one million people are going to a Christmas rave at 10 Downing Street <laughs> this Christmas Eve. <laughs> Let's all wake up, Boris. Let's all wake up, Boris. So I cannot wait for the moment the police try and arrest them. This isn't a rave, officer. This is a business meeting. <laughs> In fact, I've actually got my business card here. <laughs> <laughs> and let's all ignore that my dancing for a rave was that. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been to a rave, but I imagine... <laughs> not a lot of that, is there, right? <laughs> Good rave today, isn't it? <laughs> 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 they got a buffet in this rave, or what? 